roaming cats could become a thing of the past with momentum growing among councils across the country for owners to keep their pets inside. The movement has got the support of wildlife rescue groups which claim domestic cats are evolving into even better predators. It's touch and go for this owl, the latest victim of a cat attack. Vets are x-raying its wing to find out how serious the damage is. Now, unfortunately for this boo book, this fracture looks like it involves the joint. So the likelihood of recovery is probably not very good. A cat owner delivered the injured bird to this wildlife hospital after finding it in their pet's mouth. The power of the cat's jaw may have caused that fracture and it's definitely caused all of this infection and inflammation and swelling. This Quinda was also bitten by a cat. She's now being released back into the wild after defying the odds. Had we not intervened, she would have died. Um, and, and a pretty horrible death, you know, she would have just slowly died of septicemia. Hundreds of victims of cat attacks are brought here every year. About half of them don't survive. Cats are now evolving and learning about the different wildlife and they're now um, getting better at hunting these animals. Aidan Lang, a counsellor at the West Australian city of Fremantle, is leading a push for stronger laws. Cats are already banned from the city's bushland areas. The plan is now just to prohibit cats from all city of Fremantle property. That would be all roads and all footpaths. Unless they're on a lead. Surprisingly, it's becoming more and more popular. Um, I've got a handful of friends that walk their cats regularly on leads. The proposal's part of a national movement by councils encouraging owners to build cat enclosures and fining them if their pets found roaming outside their properties. I think, like dogs, cats will soon be inside and our future generations will look back and say to us, you guys let cats roam around <laughs> Australia eating all our wildlife all these years? Good boy. Pamela Lanigan, a breeder of British short hairs, fully supports cats being kept inside. But she believes much of the destruction of wildlife is caused by stray cats. She'd like to see councils invest more of the revenue from cat registration fees on low-cost desexing programs and education campaigns. We'd like to see more enclosures for pets. We would like to see more information for pet owners who may not realise that they can create an enclosure for their pets. It seems roaming cats are on borrowed time. Claire Moody, ABC News.